civilized. And I don't think anyone is calling for words to be banned. But if I say, oh, I Sharon Osbourne did. See, my name's not Kathy, it's Kate. And you continue to call me Kathy for days and weeks and months. I mean, I just I just think, well, you're a bit unpleasant, don't I? I think that's really rude. And why would you keep doing that? And, and in actual fact, why are you doing that when you know it's going to annoy me? Because some people are rude, pleasant, and do things to annoy you. Grow the fuck up. You live in a world where people do not give a fuck. People don't care. And people aren't going to give a shit that you're offended. So stop spending so much energy on being offended. Because in the end of the day, nobody is going to give a fuck. Nobody. Um, so I think it's not a big ask. What, what amazes you me. Know, I, this sort of makes me believe or think that you feel like you deserve a safe space. And like I always tell people, nobody, it is nobody's right or to be protected, to be safe. It's nobody to be provided that from somebody else. Your safety, your emotional and your, and your physical safety is your responsibility. It's not the police's responsibility because they react to crimes that already happened. It is your responsibility. It's not my responsibility to make sure you feel safe, Kate. Benjamin Franklin said those that give up the, um, liberty for security will, neither ha will have neither or deserve neither, meaning that it is your personal responsibility, your personal responsibility, to make sure you feel and actually are safe. Not mine, not anyone else's. Is that there's a pushback? Is people going, well, it's my free speech, and I can say, well, it is your free speech. Say what you like, but by the same token, I think women should be absolutely free to say, I don't like that term, and, I'm, if, and in fact, I might not answer to it. Well, I mean, I, and for all the people that that say, oh, you you were military, why are you saying something like that? It's because of this. Just because it's not my responsibility to make people feel safe or to help people be safe doesn't mean that I won't do it. It just means it's not my responsibility to. You know, I, I agree, Kay. I, I agree with much of what you're saying. And I think everybody, women should absolutely be allowed to, to kind of, you know, modify the language that's used to describe them if they're not comfortable with that but that applies to everybody and because it's such a minor issue it can just be done with a bit of humor on a case-by-case -case basis it doesn't need to, to be a big well, issue but i, but I wonder, it, Peter, but yeah, I wonder Peter really Lloyd, some, some of the phrases that we're talking about could be described as being affectionate or humorous for example but there are others when you talk about women being ball breakers and when you talk about ambitious women with negative connotations that aren't necessarily applied to men that we're talking in a little bit more serious territory here well what i think is very interesting is that frequently it's women who use these terms to, to describe other women so are we saying that we should be only policing the women the language that women use or is it only a problem when men use it and if that's the case that it's only a problem when men use it because we're the ones being bastardized here peter we're the ones i remember watching a, a video of case from Earthway and somebody the, which is the lady in this video everybody and the lady said that we need to teach boys not to be violent. That we need to teach boys not to be violent. This isn't about equality. This is about bastardizing an entire gender of the human race. One of the two that exist. This isn't about equality for women. This is about bastardizing men. Now, I'm not saying every feminist or every woman is for hurting men and wants to do some of the guys of feminism, but these women are. The Anita Sarkeesians, the Rebecca Watsons, the Kate Smirthwaites, them. They're the ones that are that, that are promoting this movement, but they're not promoting it in the they're promoting it in the name of equality. But it's something much more sinister behind it. Then why? Why is it only a problem when men use it? And what about I don't, but words that offend that. you, no, sorry, Peter, nobody's as a man. saying that. Nobody is saying that. You know, nobody is saying these words are only a problem when men say them. We're talking generally about the terms that we use. I find it very strange to have this like, well, what about women? What about if women say it? You know, women can say sexist things, you know, and, and black people can say racist things and gay people can say homophobic things. Oh, Asian Dave, if he's still listening, his man pussy is all hurt now. He's like, you know, I try to defend these women. 
now they're disagreeing with something. Obviously, she hasn't seen your channel, babe. You haven't brought Kate to the light yet. <laughs> He's all digging up in there. Sandy, my man, Gina, gotta get it out. Gotta get that shit out. <laughs> None of these things are specifically about, you know, one group attacking on another. They're all about a culture and what kind of language we use in our culture. And we should all be looking at how can we use language better? Because as you said yourself, Peter, language does have power. So let's use that power to create a more positive and constructive culture. Peter, and it's not well. about it's not about some sort of moratorium on individual words, tearing them out of the dictionary. It's about being part of a conversation about the best respectful language especially in the workplace where people really have a right to be treated respectfully we are well people do not have a right to be treated respectfully people i mean what i'm saying is you shouldn't assume that someone is going to respect you you should just not care if they don't who gives a fuck anyway there's gonna be a meltdown here guys i'm not going to commentate anymore there's gonna be a meltdown it's gonna be funny as shit here we go Unfortunately, well, running out of time, but Peter, I just want to get one final thought from you. Are there words that are used to describe men that offend you? Uh, not particularly, and, and if, if there were some I don't like, I certainly wouldn't want them banned. But it go, you know, it always goes back to that old adage: "Sticks and stones may break my bones, but there will always be some things to offend a feminist." Peter well, that, no, that's just obnoxious. Peter Lord, sorry. You, have to, you have to give me a I chance we'll to respond to that. On this that discussion. is ridiculous. That, no, hang on, I won't do your show again if you don't let me respond Go to on, that. Go on, Kate, have a word. Come on, that's ridiculous. I mean, that, first of all, that, like, first of all, to allow somebody on air, this is a women's rights movement. We're asking for equality. I know, I said I wouldn't come with tape, and that was how she said to allow somebody on air. She's trying to censor him. And to, to just come on and say that kind of thing. And secondly, he keeps saying this is a trivial issue, this is a trivial issue, that it doesn't happen very often. The reality, as you know from talking to women in the street, is that they all have words that bother them. This is something that affects loads and loads of women. And if he's not affected well, by just it, said this well, lucky just him. About women. And if he thinks he's going to take that privilege and just wander on air and say obnoxious things about a campaign for equality, then that is horrific bigotry. And I but object it, but to it's it not being about equality because time. they didn't bother it's to disgusting. analyse what men think. It's not about equality. Look, if anything, this is probably the use of language and pet names is probably something that could be classed as a microaggression. And that means that the corresponding trauma yeah, and when is, those e happen, is equally minuscule and, and isn't they worth talking about. Peter Lloyd, Kate Jesus. Smurthway, I'm afraid we really, really are out of time there. But thank you both very much for your Thanks. contributions. Smile, bitch. What do you want? Whoa, whoa, whoa.